All right, this chain broiler, we're gonna go through the assembly kind of phase by phase. Let's talk about the back. There are three parts that go on the back. This is uh, gross because I was just scraping it. There's scraper tools right here. You have, once it's disassembled, you have this slide. You can see the hooks. Put one side of the hook in there, and then that will let you drop the other this way, okay? So this is in part a heat shield. Uh, it'll rest below the chain, and you can see there's not such that a burger should be able to get stuck in there. Then there's the actual scoop, right? So this is the scoop. There's a hook and a hook, and there are two pins. So the scoop goes in with its top lip into the unit and that lets the hook catch and drop this needs to swing freely like this okay because burgers will get stuck in there and then you can tap it from the front and it drops loose and then finally you have your back heat shield which is just this plate with this dealio on the end this unit is like a week old and this is super bent. So that's great. And it goes on this pin and that pin, and then it just hangs. All right? So that is the rear assembly, three pieces. The big, thick scoop, and then the sheet metal scoop and then the back panel okay now that we've done the back let's do the top three pieces again chimney filter heat shield this is the guy that's real confusing there's arrows on it they need to point towards you hang on to that for me don't put me in it and this pointing towards you this is going to go over the back box and this leg is going to sit on the front at an angle like this so that the heat is coming back to the front. If you turn it the other way, it will go. But then all the heat will escape out the back and it won't tap. So, hook it on the back, drop it down. There you go. And then obviously chimney just sets. Filter just sets. All right, before I put anything else in so you can see, so these burners go in, holes up, okay? They slide in here. I'm gonna try and hold this out of the way so I can get it close and show you from the inside so there's two holes obviously this needs to go in there all right it needs to go all the way in like that and once it's in this will sit completely flush and that'll lock it in place now you know your burner's correct you have a drain that slides in here again once you know you have it all the way in You've got it, drain pan goes there. I don't have that yet. So we've got this pan slides in first. Okay, it's your actual like crumb tray. This angle fronted tray goes on this track, but there's a trick. And trying to do one hand is gonna be even more of a trick, but here we go. I'm gonna get it started. Okay. So you get it started in the track. Now, that is how it's gonna go, but leave it pulled out halfway. Cause you have this guy, it's got tabs on the front. This guy is gonna hug this right here. See that? I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit more. Okay, and I'm gonna set this right there. Now I'm gonna slide them both in onto the track. 
That's correct. So you have your lower heat shield. If that's not correct, your unit won't temp properly. All right, so moving forward, now we have the front assembly to take care of. I'm gonna do this right here. All right, they pulled these out and cleaned them. They come in two sizes. The left side is bigger than the right side as evidenced by the chain. So the left side, see the tracks? There's a hole, it goes kind of like that. And then just sets in a track. And they're gonna share this one. When we take this, stick it through there. You'll know you have it, because they won't move, right? They're in their track. All right, now you see this? It's like a picture hanger. We've got a rectangular groove on each back. These black knobs have shields they need to pull out. This is what locks in to this. So you have to pull those out of the way and here's your hangers. So now you're gonna put your feeder on the hangers and you can see I've got them lined up. Then we're gonna push this in. If it doesn't, if it's not lined up, it won't go. So you push that while you spin this and then you find the spot where it locks in and boom. All right, this side, we're gonna push it while we spin. We're in, we're in. Uh, I actually don't like how sloppy this chain is. After the fact, I'm gonna tighten that up. Okay, now we're real close. So there is a, a slide here that goes on the front and then you have your scrapers, a short and a, and a long, that go there, and that's what scrapes one burger at a time in. I uh, have to find the second scraper. And then the last piece will be this decorative front, which uses these pins right here, these hooks, and you just set it on slides right down like the picture and it's on so i gotta go find this but there we have nico assembly minus the food pans which set in the bottom but from the mechanical side that's that